Okay, uh, good evening to you all. Today is our the third one of this uh, three month data analytics bootcamp. Like I said, the bootcamp will last for about uh, three months, and today is our day third one. Uh, like always, we start by uh, you know showing our uh, outlines. That is what we are to cover for the day. So today we will discuss about what we did yesterday. A recap on what we did yesterday. Uh, then we'll talk. Uh, we'll solve the week four assignment. That's what we are going to do for today. Please. Um. Uh, you, yesterday, if you can recall, we talk about um. V look up that is the look vertical up. look up yeah yes. so we discussed about vertical look up yesterday and i gave you uh i showed you what you can do with it and how you can extract uh certain data from uh you know bunch or bulk of data uh the reason why we are not having an, another class today that why i put this solution of this assignment is because i give you a grace of time for you to practice um you know with uh the 30. That is VLOOKUP, so that you can practice VLOOKUP today uh, again, uh, because it's a formula that I don't want you to get confused with what we are going to cover tomorrow, next tomorrow, and um, you know in the next coming two days. That is index match and index match. So I don't want you to get confused with uh, the next coming uh, or upcoming formula. So please, you should uh, be very uh, kind of. Um, uh, uh, you know, focus on this VLOOKUP, learn it well so that you will not get confused and uh, you will not get uh, kind of uh, mess it up with what we are going to learn in the next coming to this. So today we'll solve this assignment. Uh, I will show you how to solve the assignment, how uh, you're going to, uh, you know, uh, solve uh, this with four assignment. I already received a uh, lot of assignment, a lot of uh, messages from you, which about more than, I think up to 70 people have submitted their assignment. And I can say this, that week four is one of the most uh, uh, kind of, um, how can I, most submitted assignment in the entire bootcamp because people submitted their assignment more than uh, any other uh, week. So this week people submitted their assignment, like uh, about 70 of people have submitted their assignment. But I want to call your attention on one thing before I start uh, the solving of the assignment. Please and please, when you are done with your assignment, uh, I told you to just click on save, save as. I've shown you how to save your file. Just click on it. Delete all this week four, blah, blah, blah. Just write your IBN number, for example. Okay, I'm so sorry, it's my network. I don't know what happened. It's just my network, so I have to wait for it to come back. Please, I'm sorry for that. Sorry okay, for sorry. that. So as I'm talking about how to save your file, right? So let me share this screen so that you can see. So please, when you put your IBN number, don't put anything. Just put your IBN number like that and save your file, please. This is week five. It's, you're supposed to learn this. I'm talk, uh, we'll talk about the issue of this leveling and how to level files, how to save files and other things. But you need to learn it as as, as it is now. You did almost uh, five. Uh, is it four? Four assignment. You're supposed to learn, uh, you know, how to save the file, please. Most of you, please, please. Okay, so let me start by, let's start solving the assignment right away. Um, Hello, sir. Can you hear me, please? We lost you again. Yeah, I can, can you hear me. Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear sir, me? You're, break, you're breaking. Yeah, it's my network. I don't know what, what happened. Oh, yeah, I, I, you, can, you can hear you now. Can you hear me clearly? You can hear you now, yeah. Okay, so let's start by uh, with question one, which they said we should customize the table so like always if you can see it every time we started uh, by you know customizing the table so let's just customize this table the entire table so let's do the customization so i'm just going to you all know how to customize this table and so it's not something big to you right now so that way i used to put it every assignment i used to put this table customization so that you will get used to it you will know you will learn how to do it and others. So this is the header. So I'll just make them bold like this. So you need to uh, kind of um, 
uh, well arranged. It's not I will just wrap everything. Let me just wrap it. Okay, let me wrap it and put it center like this. So uh, as you can see, we can be kind of uh, dragging it so that we can have the complete name. Uh, all this is something that you need to be doing, please. You need to do this because this is something that uh, you need to create uh, something like you see this neighborhood, you can make it like this. This one can be this, this and that. So you need to learn all how to arrange that. So I think I don't need to just go ahead and keep doing this for you since you all know how to do it. And there's something for you need to arrange well and everything needs to go uh, uh, clear like that. So I think if you just arrange your data clearly and you change everything, you will get the marks of uh, you know answering question number one. So let's move to question number two. Question number two is under price column, find the first train C highest price and lowest. That is under price. So we need to go to the price for us to find the train to first 20 highest and what? So this is the price. We need first 20 highest and uh, 20 lowest. So I need to just create two columns here. I need to create two. I can just call this first 20 highest first 20 lowest. For example, this is how I want it to be. So I'll just do it like this and just increase it a little bit. So like this. So I want to get the 20 of it. That is 20 highest and 20 lowest. Please, can you hear me? We can hear you, sir. Yes. So what, what are we going to do? We are going to use large here. So I'm going to use large. Then I will take this. This is the entire array that I'm taking. Just take note. You are just going to keep pressing this up to the end. Just hold your control shift. Just keep clicking down up to the end. Because if you stop anywhere without the end, definitely you are bound to get error. And you are bound to get things that are not what. So this is the end. Because it's 102 rows, I've already told you. Then I put comma, then I put one. So I'll just close my bracket and press enter. Sorry, it gives me null. Okay, so yeah. So now we get the null. Please, who can tell us how do we get this null? Let me just ask you this. Because I know some of you get this null. I don't know if you get it. So tell me how do we get this null? Yusuf, you can talk. So because the... Yes. Because what? So because it's a text. Therefore, you can multiply... The you column can... did not change. Did not change the it to numbers. Is... That's great. So, please, do you understand issue of customization? There are a lot of things you need to do in it. You understand that. Because this particular yes. column that you are seeing, this particular column that you are seeing is not a number, it's a text. So there is no way you can get, because this is what is telling you, arrow is not number. That's the arrow that is telling you. So in your customization, please, you need to convert any cell that is money to become money, cell that is this to become this. So you need to do all that in your what? Customization of table. So definitely we need to customize this table. So we are turning it into what? Into currency, right? So let's just make yes, it start. So turn it into currency. So now let's click your sorry. So let's say large equals to the array is this. So I'll just click this. Let me just click this, put one. So still it gives us this. So what is the issue? What is the issue? I, I'm still listening to you. Hello, please. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, please? Hello? Sir? Yeah, can you hear me? Sir? Take note. In converting this column, please take note. In converting this column, remove that dollar sign first. Remove it. Please. Can you hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Can you hear can me hear now? You, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so you need yes, to sir. work, you need to clean this. So I really suggest you remove this. So let's do this. My network is very bad. I don't know why. And please just hold on.
Can you hear me, please? I'm trying to restart the network. Can you hear me now? We can hear you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, so let me see. Please, let's hope it will work. I'm trying to see. Okay, so uh, even if you combat this column, please take note. Like I said, you need to remove this dollar sign first. Please, do you understand? Because even now, it's not seeing this as a word. It's not seeing it as currency. Even now, as you can see it, it's just saying that this is not a number, as you can see. So what you are going to do is remove this dollar sign first. Remove it. Just remove the dollar sign. So what we are going to do, I'm turning this into general. I'm not going to make it into currency. All I'm going to do is to remove the dollar sign. So I'm going to remove this dollar sign now. Please understand all how to do this. Because when you are given a data with issues like this, nobody will tell you what you are the one to find what to do. There is no way you can go back to the owner of the data and tell him, please, that data, I cannot combat it. It's something, something more. No, you are the one to find a way of doing it. This, this assignment is one of the very most simplest week. This is the simplest assignment that I gave you, but it has to do with you thinking how to solve it. So let me show you something. You need to remove this dollar sign at all because this dollar sign is not the dollar sign that you are used to. Just remove this dollar sign. Go to data, go to this. So what do you, you can use delimited and remove it, or you can use this to remove it. So maybe I can use delimited. For example, maybe I can just click on the first dollar sign because dollar sign is at the first of each. Then I will just click finish. Okay, then all the number will be here. So now since I remove it from here, so now we have it here as what? We have it here as normal currency here. So I can turn it into... Uh, you know, currency if I want, or I can turn it into general. No, any way that I want to make it, I can make it any how I want it. So I can just copy it or cut it, or let me just copy it. I'll just bring it back here. Then I'll turn this to price. So now I'll remove this. So now I converted the column. So if I want, I can bring back the dollar sign. I can just go back to this if I want. Can bring back the dollar sign, then I can say USD. Can bring back the dollar sign like this. You see, this is the USD to show you USD, not dollar sign. But I'll leave it as near as the way it is. So now we need the top higher. So what I'm going to do, I already put the the column. So I'm just going to do it again. Large. I'll just say the area is this to just hold your control keep. Please, can you hear me, all of you? So yes. put comma and press one. Yeah, like this. So I just got this 1,200 like this. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to lock the range because it's the same range. Lock the range, press enter. Then I will drag it. You see? You see, I will drag it. One. So now I, I need to change this two. I need to change this three. Then you need to do it up to 20. That's how we are going to do it. So you need to put uh, four. You need to put five. You need to put six, seven. Please, do you understand this? Let me tell you one thing. I think this assignment, yes, okay, let's, let's do it up till the end so that you will see what will happen. Because the entire post 20 is 120. That's the entire post 20. Yes. So, but some of you don't know that. 1,200. Yeah, it's 1,200, sorry, not 120. So it's 1,200. So someone will think he's not doing it right, but you are doing it right. You are doing it correct. So the first is 1,200. So if I put 13 here, here I'll put 14. Here I'll put 15. So now I'll drag it again. Then I'll put 16 here. 17. 18. 19, then the last one is 20, right? Then I will drag it here, then I will change it to 20. So this is it. So it's 1,200, the first one, the first 20. So the second one, all you need is to copy it and paste it here. The only thing you are going to change here is what? Large instead of uh, small, mm -hmm. large instead of small instead of large. So all I'm going to, large. yeah. I will just highlight it. I will just <coughs> find and replace it. So I'll just control this. Then I will see large. Then I will change it to small. 
So I will replace all. So it will replace all the 20 and it will be what? 50, 50, 50. This is the question. When you did this, you get the assignment. You got question one, uh, question two correctly. So that's about question two. So let me just put the blue. And here we are done with it. Then I would maybe turn it to white. So, so this arrangement of, this vertical arrangement, some of us arrange it horizontally. No, it's okay. The way you did it, we'll see. You'll get your mark. Don't worry about that. Uh, the arrangement is, I did my horizontally. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Once we get, when we saw that 2020, in one, 1,250, 50, definitely you got it. Don't worry okay. about that. So it's no more. Don't worry so, about So what I want to do is that get highest and fail lowest. You say? Small. You say? Like me, I, I, the one, people that did the, high, the largest correct, but the the smallest. Problem. Then you will get half of the marks of the question now. Don't ask <laughs> me about that. Don't complain. I will only. <laughs> yeah. I don't care how you do that. <laughs> is some price, price column with service column. By creating a column, let me just copy this message that, okay, one of the column is empty. So you are going to use, once there is a row, that is when you total it, it is empty, it will show you one of the column is, is empty, right? That's what I asked you to see. So let's see how we can solve it. We are going to add the price column, right? The price and yes, what? Sir and the service. So definitely for the service, we need to also uh, remove this dollar sign and convert it. So you are going to do this again. Come back to here again. You are going to do it again. So like this, just remove the dollar sign, go to data, text to column. I can use delimited now, then I can select the, this, then I can, we can use this. So now we remove this. So if we want, we can, we can just uh, copy and, okay, sorry. All I need to is to, you know, cut and paste it yes. here. Then I'll call it service fee, right? Yes, sir. That is the service fee column. So if I want, we can turn it to uh, currency like we did. So I can just call it currency. So now we are going to add the two columns. Did I say you should create new one? By yes, sir. This column. Okay, total P, right? Sorry. Yes, sir. So let's create total P. So let's create total. Okay, sorry. Let me do something. Let's do something. I just want the same. So I'll just say total P. So like this. So now we are going to say equals to, we need to add this and this, right? Plus this. Yes, sir. Is that what we need? Then we said, yeah, we if there is up. a row, so we are going to put our if arrow. If arrow, sum this. But where there is arrow, what do we want? It should return the total sum of those two columns. Yeah. So no, we say one of the column is what? It's one of the column is empty. Empty. It's okay, empty. Yes, arrow. Yeah. It's empty. One. Yes. Not arrow. It's empty. So just we close it. We press enter. So now if I drag it. Like this, we drag it up till the end, right? So wherever yes, there is a row, it's going to say that to us. If there is where any column that is that has a row, it will say that if there is no a row, it will not say that to us. So that's what you are going to do. Just don't worry, hold it tight. I didn't use a uh, control shift. So it's okay. Let me just hold it with my mouse. It, we are just close. So I'm done. Let me stop here. Ah, I'm not done. It's down Take there. Go. Ah, you sorry, please. Down. I'm not going to do it like that. <laughs> I, I, I thought, okay, I'm just copying this, please. Don't worry. Ah. Okay, so I must, I must do it too. So I think, let, let me do something. Let me do something. Let me show you how to do this. I will show you how to do this, you see? So this is the column. You get to the bottom. Mm. Yeah, I just got the bottom <laughs> line. You see? You no, there is somewhere. a way to do it now. <laughs> Here it is. This is my bottom, right? It's column. Yes, it's column. You see? It's the same column. So here it is. So this is my column. Yeah, of course. So I'm at the bottom. So if I change this, for example, if I just change it to K, then definitely you will see one of the column is empty by default. Since it, it will give you. So we'll just try and touch this. So if it shows, because if I, if I just put arm and it will just say one of the column is what? It's empty. So that's empty. what I want to return. So we are done with this question. I'll just call it again.
So we are done with this question again. So let's move to question number what? Four. Arrange properly host name, host identity verified, and cancellation. So where is host name? All you need to do is to make it proper. You are just going to use proper. So where is the host name? This is the name, right? Is this the name? Yes, sir. Okay, here it is. So I'm just going to make it. So I will just say equals to proper. Then I'll just click on the name. Then it will arrange the name properly. I don't know if the name is at the end. Okay, it's at the bottom. Yeah. So we are done with this question. So here it is. Then I'll just follow it. Then what is the next one is, is host identity. So let, where is the host identity column? Where is the host identity, please? Okay, here it is. Host identity yeah. verified, yeah. Host identity verified, here it is. So I'll just create this. So even this one, I'm just going to say proper. Open bracket, click here. Yeah, so it will just turn this. So like this, this is it. Then I'll just follow it. Then the last one is what? Cancellation policy. So where is cancellation policy? It should be here. It's for that other way. Yeah. So yeah. You're right. Okay, where it is? Okay, okay yeah, it is you're right. Cancellation policy. Yeah. So I'll just create another one proper. I'll click this. Then I'll double click. So I'm done with this. Then I'll just put this. So you are done with this question number. I think it's four, right? So question four, yes. under construction year, turn 2004, 2005, 2008 to 2023, four, five, and eight. So where is the year? This is construction year. So the only thing I'm going to just highlight it, we are just going to do final and replace, you see? So I'm just going to do yes, that. Sir. So I'm just going to say 2003 to 2023. It will replace it, done. Then I will say 2004 to 2023. It replace it, 2008 to 2023. It replaced it. Then I'm done with this question. That's all. You are done. Yes, sir. That's all. So when you are done with it, you can just follow it like this. You are done with the question. So that's the end of the question. So the next question is, under serial number, find random hundred. So you need to add a serial number because there is no serial number. So I'm just going to create yes, serial sir. number here. Yes, and sir. I'm going to say one, two. So most of you will score five over five in this assignment, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just going yes. to random, random hundred. Or maybe what you are going to do, you you are, you are going to create this random hundred. Let's say we are going to just do it uh, somewhere. So let me just come at the end. Let's just come at the end. So I'm just going to say random hundred. So, but for now, I'm going to create one to hundred. I'm going to create what? One to hundred first. Please understand how to solve this assignment. Oh, wait, this question, understand how to solve this question, please. So I'll create one to hundred. Sorry, I stopped at 51. I'll create one to hundred. Let me see, ah, 200 is, is too much. So let me just come to hundred and delete the rest. I'll create one to hundred like this. Then I'm going to create random. So I'm going to say equals to how many numbers I have. So first of all, you need to get the total of what you have, which is you have 102. I'm just going to copy it. So that will be the end. So I'm going to say this. Please, are you seeing how I'm doing one. this? Yes, sir. I just copy the, yeah, that's the last we have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say equals to run between one to what i will just paste that uh 102599 then i will press enter so the next thing i'll just double click it so it will be up till the hundred you see it these are the random hundred that we have i'll just copy them and paste them because i want to remove the right between because i don't want it to this is the what the, the survey that what we are going to solve it that is the house so any out that falls because number one will be 4195 then we will come and start for 4195 this and that. So these are the 100 random houses or 100 random, uh, you know, people we are going to interview. These are the, they are courts and these are the, these things. Please, do you understand that? Yes, sir. Do you understand this? Yes, hey, yes sir. These are the random people based on the ID. So you just go based on the serial number, pick the person and just do whatever you want to do for him. 
So let's go to the next question. That is the last question. Under instant bookable, use is blank function to create a condition where any cell is blank, we need zero. We need to return zero. But where it is not blank, we need to return the exact data in the cell. This, this question also is very, very simple question. Where is the question? Here it is. So this is the question. So we are going to just create a new one that we are going to answer the question here. We are going to say equals to, first of all, we are going to take note. To, in order for us to get that, we are going to use what? We are going to use if condition inside is blank. Please, do you understand that? Yes, sir. I don't know if you understand. Or you're going to say if open bracket is what blank, then you tick on this comma. If it is blank, it is true. We want a zero. If it is false, we want yes. what the exact data. That's what we the want. Value. To, yeah, the value. Yes, sir. So you see, it will return false for us because it's not blank. You see, where it is true, it will return true. If you double click. Wherever is blank, it will return what? Zero. So you see, we have zero wherever is blank. You see, anywhere is blank, we have zero. You see, we have zero. So that's it. You are done with your assignment. Then I will click this. Then I will make this, this, and this. So we are done. That's the end of week. Yes, sir. Uh, so week this one. number six. This is your number six. Yeah. Of random? Yes. What me I did there? Eh? Yeah. I did the round between. Oh, I did. I have, I have my... 100 ID randomly selected. Yeah, even if you didn't create the serial number, once you select uh -huh. it, I have serial yeah. number actually, but I first of all looked for the minimum ID number. I look for the maximum ID, then I ran between 100. Out okay, of based on the minimum. Okay, the minimum is what? The minimum is uh, 1 no, million. I, no, I, no, no, no. I asked you to use serial number. <laughs> no, I use serial number, sir, but I use the ID. It's based on the ID. I, I it's okay. It's okay. I will look at your assignment. We didn't call it our yes. The formula is the same. It's well, the okay, ID, let me ID. check the chat. Some people maybe. Okay, let me check some people. Please, sir, you are two parts in solving the question. Yeah, don't worry. You will see the video. Then you put the video in slow motion. To piano. If I'm two parts in solving it, because we only have 40 minutes. I don't want to take too much time so that we will save time. I'm uploading the video. That video that you are seeing, whenever we have two videos, the 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 kind of the video will be too lengthy, uh, too high. The length will be kind of too weighty. You will see one video with six gig. So for me to upload six gig video on YouTube is something that that why sometimes it's around three a.m. when I wake up, then I will just share the link for you. So I don't want us to be exceeding 40, 40 minutes. But I will put the video immediately now. You watch the video, you put it in slow motion, and you solve your assignment by yourself. Sasha, we hide the column after creating a new one. Oh, no, you leave. Don't, don't hide any column. Leave it there. Don't hide it, please. Leave it there. Yeah, the people for larger and small will keep repeating itself because that is it. One, 1,200 is the largest. That's how it just goes like that. You don't need to touch anything. That's what it gives you. So that's the data. If we change it, it will change. Okay. Uh, so it's okay. Let me just read the last comment, please. Find and replace. Find and replace is just control H. I told you in the video. Maybe you missed the video. Control H. You will see it. Control H. Control H. No, if you answer whatever you answer, anywhere you answer it, if you can see it, Ms. Bau, answer my question too at the end of the table. Table. Even if you answer it, we will see it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Even if it is not within the table, we will see it. We will find it and we will match you if you did it correctly. Don't worry about that. So I think we can call it a day. If you have any question, please, you can ask it in the chat or you can raise your hand. I can give you the mic. We only have two minutes to go. So please, watch it see how you can solve these assignments and other things please it will help you a lot and learn how to clean data because if you can see this assignment of today the main thing that you need to focus on is cleaning the data if you didn't know how to convert that price and this thing you will make a you'll get a row that why a lot of people are asking me uh their their column is not working their this thing is not working they put closes i just look at you because i can't solve it for you 
Sometimes I didn't even solve your assignment. I just give the assignment to you. I know it will work. I just ignore you. Yeah, we only, we only, want, we only want, have one minute left. And I think my network is bad, so we can call it a day, please. I'll drop the link to you in the group. I'll drop the link. And maybe all of you will see your result. Maybe tomorrow you will all see your results. You will see your results. Someone say you want to. It's correct now. No, I don't know what he is saying. I wanted to call your attention on question five. What I understand from my end is change 2004 to 2005, 2008. <laughs> Please, that's what you understand. That's not what I said. I, I don't even want us to discuss about what Kwame means. Please, let's not talk about that. what you understand. You are the one that changed it to this. This is your own understanding. No, no. 